In this day and age, our attention spans are low, and to compensate for this, the YouTube algorithm has been recommending increasingly shorter and faster paced YouTube videos, and so I decided, why not do exactly the opposite of that? In this video, I'm going to be watching the most boring videos ever found on YouTube, and you're gonna f***ing like it. You better enjoy, or else you have a very short attention span. Alright, so here we are on YouTube. Please ignore my recommendeds, they are unrelated. Let's try and find something boring here. So see what the tags up here, sketch comedy, risk of rain 2, uh, comedy. See, these are all very interesting things. Look at these thumbnails. Why is John Mulaney in all of these? So the first thing we gotta find is something that is absolutely uneye catching and unappealing to the human eye. What's something that's very uninteresting? Documents. Oh, look, documentary. We already got tons of stuff. However, we don't want that. Documentaries can be interesting if made correctly. That gives me a bad idea. Add documentary. Uh, no, not the Michael Jackson. Oh my god. This is why inbreeding is so dangerous. Hmm. Oh, wow. Th there's a reason for that? So these all look kind of interesting, and I'm sure you'd love me to react to those, but I'm not gonna. How about we just ro remove the airy part and just go with bad document? How to document bad behavior at work. This this looks kind of... I have no idea this is going to be interesting. Let's click on this video. <laughs> bad things happen at work. From crazy co-workers to terrible bosses, unfortunately, bad behavior is very common on the job. Yes, I should know. I have a job. I don't know what a job is. Oh. My name is Brandon Robertson, and I'm an employment lawyer. Oh, hello. This video is all about when an employee should document things at work. Oh, really? I f why am I watching this? I don't even have a job. Explain the best ways to do it and why keeping notes could mean the difference between losing your lawsuit and winning millions. Oh, winning millions? What is this, a game show? Okay, okay, get your hands away from me, Brian Br Brannigan Robertson. Oh, why does it say on the whiteboard behind him? How to document? Jesus Christ, he's got the. Why do I watch this video? I can just read what it says on there. What should go in your nuts? Who, what, when, where, witness? Yeah, yeah, the five W's. Who, what, when, where, and witness. Notes for lawyer. Privileged. Okay, just without context, this is already kind of hurting my brain. Notes, emails, documents, and some type of text or instant message. All right, good. I will hide all of those pieces of evidence. Already, I'm feeling like this video is going to get in some weird territory. Like, this feels like an employee training video that they'd show you if you wanted to work at, like, a corporate office. And I'm not trying to work at a corporate Oh, he's just pointing out stuff on the whiteboard. I'm just looking, I'm just taking a, listen, I guess this is supposed to be boring, but oh god. My recommendeds are so weird. There's just videos by this guy, and then there's like a Risk of Rain 2 video. We're not going to watch that though, because that could be potentially interesting, and we don't want interesting stuff on here. Yo, I'm subscribed to you, Bran Branigan Robertson. I feel like if this guy were in a movie, he would be played by Steve Carell. How to use an umbrella. <laughs> use an umbrella tutorial by Helpful DIY. Thank you. For anyone who doesn't know how to use one. Hey everybody, I'm here today to show- Okay, why does he sound like he's hosting a children's show? Hi everybody, and welcome to- Umbrella. The show. <laughs> I bet he's gonna do a goofy laugh at some point in this video. If he doesn't do a goofy laugh, I'm gonna be very disappointed. Alright, uh, continue, uh, Mr. Helpful DIY. ...show you how to use an umbrella. So cool. basically the first thing that you want to do is you want to remove the strap that is going around the umbrella that will free it up who that knew free it up just like that then if your umbrella has an extendable pole which this Ooh, one does an extendable pole i know i have an extendable pole on my umbrella you want to extend it just like that now your umbrella may have a button that you have to push to do that but if it has if it has a button go ahead and push that button well then why didn't you use one with a button on it you just use one of those old-fashioned manual umbrellas, and you're not with a. You're, you you got to stick with the times, old man. We're using the ones with buttons on them, not not the, whatever the hell that is. Just extend it, just like I did. Now the next step is to actually open up the top portion of the umbrella. No, so what you have really. To do is put your fingers around this little piece, just like that, and then just push it up, just like <sighs> that, and it should clip into place. And as you can see, I've opened up the umbrella, just like that. Now you can He opened it. up the umbrella. Oh, he, oh, there's more. He just told us how to open up the umbrella. Now what's he going to do? Uh, this is so intriguing. Just like this. You know, it'll prevent eh, the sun head. from hitting your head. It'll prevent the rain from going on your head. It'll also prevent the hair from going on your head, as I can see. <laughs> Use another finger to push that in. 
and then slowly release the top portion. Why is he making this video? Who is watching this? Who is this video meant for? I want to see the comments. Everybody knows how to use an umbrella, but your detailed demonstration makes you sound like a professional presenter. This is something I can learn from my college presentation. Yeah, you're getting, you're getting your master's degree in umbrella opening. This will be very useful. I recommend... <laughs> they're all umbrella-related videos. Now, oh, it's more going down a rabbit hole here. Auto open golf umbrella. Ooh, let's check. The latest and greatest golf umbrella to join the peerless. Is this an ad for an umbrella? This line is the open, a vented 58 inch arc auto open golf umbrella. Oh, why is that called a golf umbrella? What, 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 why? It boasts an all fiberglass frame, which will keep it lightweight, super durable, and less conductive to lightning than traditional steel framed golf umbrellas. Less conductive to lightning? Like, it's still conductive to lightning, but just less than other umbrellas? God, someone must have put, poured their whole heart out into inventing this thing and I'm just trashing it. What do I know about making umbrellas? This could be like revolutionary technology right here with its 9,000 views. How do you close it? You believe. <laughs> this video is supposed to be boring. Why am I reading jokes? There's another ad for this that has the same amount of views called the best folding umbrella. Because of its great price point and perceived... Why do they use the same model in every video? Value. The Revolution is a peerless umbrella bestseller. It is available in over 30 vibrant colors, including... No way! Just... Wait, what are these colors? Hunter, Navy, Wine, Royal, Kelly White, Hunter White, Wine White, Navy Khaki. These all sound like they're written in NATO phonetic code. This umbrella features an auto-open mechanism, a 42-inch arc, and is 15.5 inches in length. Oh, what the- oh, yo, oh, yo, that- yeah, I think I might want that now, looking at- that's- that's a pretty nice-looking umbrella, I think I might buy it. Bro, imagine putting that on your resume, uh, your most- your acting career. I started an umbrella commercial and held an umbrella out, like a person who knows how to use an umbrella. I- I was about to like the video, but I realized I'm an incognito to prevent this from permanently plaguing my, uh, my YouTube recommendeds. The Vault! Mmm, <clears throat> sorry. Oh, it's got that corporate music. You know it's gonna be good. Oh shit! Damn, damn, they're really playing that uh, electric xylophone hard. I feel like I'm being sold something. Hey, does that say Tesla? <laughs> this is a Tesla umbrella. After leaving Twitter, Elon Musk resorts to creating umbrellas. That's a really sad way to end your career. Th the Your Umbrella app. Hold on. I feel like I'm digging into a deep rabbit. There's an entire YouTube channel dedicated to umbrellas. Holy shit. I found the gold mine. Oh. You're about to meet your umbrella. Your umbrella. Custom photo umbrella. Trademarked. Oh. Started, simply download the your umbrella app from iTunes store or Google. Okay, I'm, I'm going to do that right. I'm going to do that right now. No results. This thing does not exist. Upon opening the app, you'll have the option to take a photo or selfie with your camera phone or upload a high resolution photo from your existing camera roll. Why? After selecting the photo you'd like to use, simply use your fingers to adjust the image within the provided template. What is this for though? Oh, it makes a custom umbrella. A 3D virtual sample of what your finished your umbrella will look like. Oh. And then fill out the simple form and add in Whoa, whoa, whoa. You have to put in your whole identity to buy an umbrella. Well, I guess that's how buying things works now that I think about it. Bought something. Thank you, Peerless Umbrella. Go go subscribe to them. They they produce some quality umbrella content. I hear they're the number one umbrella content related producers on YouTube. What other videos do they got? Paddleboard game. Huh? So in addition to pickleball, we also offer the classic paddleball game. Wait, what? You just started that in the middle? What? Enjoy great times and outdoor exercise with this fast-paced and exciting paddleboard game. There's no need for a net. Just hit the ball back and forth to play and try to outwit your opponent. Yeah, I think what you just described is called uh, ping pong. This comes with two paddles and the traditional blue paddle ball. Um, yeah, the traditional blue paddle ball. We all know how blue those paddle bars are. You got the blue balls. <laughs> Both decorated with a full color, full bleed logo. And full bleed? Really That's hardcore. Binders. How to use a binder safely? We tried binders. <laughs> I don't think we're thinking of the same binders here. What? Tom, but what the hell? Oh, that kind of binder. Oh, okay. I get it now. I see what's going on. Okay, we're not looking for chess binders. We're not looking for Pokemon binders. We're just looking for regular old printer paper binders. Let's see. 
Paper types, keeping stuff. Oh my god, it's the 12 minute long video about paper we've hit the gold mine. Of the morning to you. Excuse me, did you just steal that intro from Jack Top of the guy? What happened to his eyes when he was saying top of the morning to you there? Top of the Look at that. Why did, why did, why does his eyes just like completely go up there? He said top of the morning to you. Alright, let's stop making fun of this guy's mannerisms and actually watch the video. It's revolutionary plastic toilet paper he has on display there about whether or not I should even do a video. I'm still getting over this cold. It's kind of a bummer. Uh. But it's not stopping me from running the equipment, getting stuff done. Why though? What does any of this equipment do? I see the plastic toilet paper, a bunch of printers, um, some drawers. I feel like this guy's in the back rooms right now with all the weird modern art going on. So I'm squeaking out a couple little books here. I only need to do 30 of those. Then we have it. A ton of other Ooh, books. To paperwork. Print. Some nice. black and white, some color. Oh my god, is that a calculator? Oh, he, what if he needs to calculate something? Will he be able to use it? Laminator's running. I got a saddle stitch job that I'm gonna do today. Okay, got... what is this weird design that's on everything in this store? The weird orange and blue stuff. What is that? I'll continue cutting this down because I'm getting a, another shipment of paper today. For jobs that I need to do either today or Monday. This guy's not specified exactly what he's doing here. He's just talking about jobs he has to do and the paper that's getting shipped to him. And I got laminate coming too. Oh, laminate! Like for paper, like he's gonna laminate the paper. Oh, this is gonna get spicy. Actually, that might be coming on Monday. Uh, oh, never mind. It's coming on Monday. Forget any of that. A year's worth of laminate to get a better price, uh, and that stuff has a, a shelf life of about a year. Hmm. So. Yep, just average day. Just average day, you know, getting some laminated paper for your workshop. God, this guy's life must be very sad. We'll try and catch some on film for you guys. So oh, he's gonna, he's gonna catch some of his laminated paper on film. Let's see when that part happens. 80 pound text here. Oh my god, 80, po 80 pound text? I'm pretty sure text doesn't weigh anything. 19 by 25. Nice. Alright, let's see if he actually gets this laminated paper on film at some point. Oh, we got some new angles in here. Oh, a time lapse. No one told me there was going to be a time lapse. Oh, he's got that Five Nights at Freddy's camera set up. Whoa. Oh, he's printing stuff. He's printing the, those things. Okay, this is all like very like in-depth discussion and I still feel like I'm losing brain cells. I don't know why, I just feel weird watching these things. This guy's channel is just a printer, so if, if you like paper, uh, watch this. How to organize papers and documents at home. Back at it again with the corporate office music. Hi everyone, I'm Alejandra from Alejandra.tv. Alejandra.tv, uh, is that on Twitch? And in this video series, I'm going to be sharing with you how to organize all of your papers at home. Cool. So we're going to be talking about binders, files, your most binders, important- Binders, binders. I was looking for those earlier. Right. Shut up, Discord. <clears throat> Yeah, uh, I was just looking for the binders. Oh. Sentimental papers, taxes, mail, uh, papers to scan- Hey! Sorry, did I scare you? Sorry about that. Just trying to get your attention here. You see, my channel's about to hit 1,000 subscribers. I don't normally like begging for subscribers, but this milestone's kind of big, because it means I can make the big bucks off of doing these dumb videos like this. So, if you want me to reach that goal, then your likeage and subscribal will be very much appreciated here. Thank you, and enjoy the rest of the video. Okay, I'm starting to get a bit depressed because I realize this is stuff I'll actually need to know in a few years. I can feel my childhood leaving myself as I watch this video. Ooh, fish. Remember, and any articles that you have pulled out of magazines to one day read. We're talking about all of these things, how to organize them so you can find them, you can stay on top of them. Why does she look like an action figure? You have stacks of paperwork, you have piles of paper, documents are accumulated. I don't, I don't. Ma'am, please let me go. I haven't done anything to you. Stop talking to me about paper. YouTube has a surprisingly big paper community. And to give you any accountability that you may need so you can actually I have zero accountability for anything that you might think I do. Zero accountability for anything that you might think I have done. Okay, so the first tip is to declutter and make space. And I know you've probably heard what? this a million times. Hold on a times, sec, I wasn't really paying attention. 
destroy, destroy it. You're, well, you're just gonna destroy. It's not the trash pile. It's the destroy pile. You're gonna destroy it. So if you have stacks of papers, I piles do not. Of papers on nope. all kinds of horizontal surfaces. Nope. The best thing you can do is do a little bit at a time. So if you okay, a little bit at a time. Hold on. Okay, stop talking. Don't talk over me. I'm the one talking here. The best thing to do is to uh, do it a little bit at a time. So let, let's follow this advice. Let's see. I got a. Uh, what papers do I got on my desk here? This random ass notepad. Destroy. All right, I just destroyed it. Uh, that's a little bit at a time. Let's 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 go on to something else now. I'm kind of getting tired of the whole paper subject. A lecture about rates. <laughs> I don't even know. Oh, rates. Okay. Uh, thank you. Anywhere math. Oh, it's the math video. Let's let's watch a Khan Academy video. Hell yeah! Oh boy, we're about to we're about to learn. You're already likely familiar with the notion that a dollar in the U.S. a U.S. dollar is not necessarily equivalent to one currency unit in another country. Say, no, I am not familiar with that. Thank you for enlightening me. One euro. And so if you were traveling to that country and you were holding dollars and you needed to exchange those dollars into euros, you'd say, well, how many euros am I going to get for my dollars? Exactly five. Don't ask how I know that. How many dollars am I going to get for my euros? One. Be, your next reaction should be with regards to what other currency? So if I say That's exactly what I was about to say. You know what I never understand about these videos? How is this guy write so smooth with a mouse? Like, look, look at this. This is like, this looks better than my handwriting, and he's using with a mouse. Try drawing with your mouse. 0 0.87. Like, look at that. That's too smooth. There's no way he does that with a mouse. Like, that's, it's just too difficult to do that. How many U.S. U.S. dollars? I you just divide both sides by 0 0.87. If you divide this by 0 0.87, you get 1. If you divide 1 by 0 0.87, you're going to get approximately 1.15. No, really? In the of this video, 1.15 US dollars is equal to 1 euro. 1 so euro? What it is, if you took a dollar 15 cents in the US and converted it to euros, you would get 1 euro. One euro? Oh my god, that's a low price. Alright, okay, I know I'm not supposed to say this, but I'm getting bored, and I don't feel like watching math anymore. I'm on a weekend right now, I shouldn't be thinking about this. Let's do something more interesting, like, uh, cardboard box. Somehow we're just not able to get off of the printer rabbit hole. Colors like you never seen before. With this video as an astounding two pixels. Can this go any- it's at 480p. It's kind of hard to see all the new colors when my video plays so lowly. Productivity. It prints paper bags. Print quality. Oh, look at that. I wish I could see the print quality. My video quality wasn't that of like a 2018 slideshow. 2018s, that didn't make any sense. This looks like a method of torture. What does that even do? It just rolls over them. Conveyor. Belt. Reliability. I don't know, man. Well, this thing, like, diverges from protocol and goes rogue. The rogue printer. I should write a novel about that. I'm writing a novel about a rogue printer now. What the hell? This video isn't, isn't even in English. Disclaimer. <laughs> Wait a second. Why, why is the disclaimer part in English, but the rest is in a different language? What language is that? It tells me that there's something I should be worried about, but won't tell me what. Is the machine taking a dump right there? What this guy is saying is true. There's only the English auto-generated, so let's see what that says. Foreign. Okay, thanks, bro. It really helps us out a lot. It kind of looks like it's making a bunch of synthetic turds. <laughs> he said Joe Biden. The owner of the machine explained the process in a simple man. A simple man? I don't even know what he said. Was oh, he speaking English? Let's click on this very unique business idea. The ball of turd. Oh, it's a short. What is that? Is he making drugs? No, not a Mr. Beast. Oh no, oh no, my mind. My mind almost got simulated for a moment. The cost to print books. Oh, it's a math video about printers. We've hit the ultimate jackpot here. If you want some good reading material, print estimating. Print estimating. It's a book about 
estimate print estimating is what it's about. That's my best guess. That I got uh, in my print estimating classes in college. There's a print estimating class in college. Where is it? Where I want to? I want to. I want to take it. Makes for some interesting reading if you're weird like me. <laughs> weird. <laughs> I'm joking, man. You're not weird. You just like printers a lot. Estimating fun. Welcome back. It's gonna be a fun one today. Oh, oh! I just realized what he meant. He meant estimating, as in the estimating part is fun. I thought he was estimating the fun. And okay, never mind. Once again, another banger by Just a Printer, the YouTube's number one printing-based channel. Let's do one more. Let's let's try one more. We gotta play. Uh, let's do another random tutorial. How to uh, uh, drink water? I feel like there's gonna be a lot of joke videos in this. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, your uh, your music, your Kevin McLeod music and sound effects are a bit too loud. Can't really hear what you're saying. Yeah, drinking glass. She cannot take this seriously, bro. Yeah, pour pour your weird water into the glass. Do you so weird? No, you relax. You're the one who needs to relax. You're the one who explained me how to drink water. I already know how to drink water. What kind of idiot? Is Here's another tutorial. Here's another tutorial by the Starfishy, who seems to be decently more popular. Welcome. Today is the day I'll teach you how to drink water like so. Why is his voice all cut up like that? He's like, "Hello, I will teach you how to drink water like so." <laughs> Are you okay? Just the basics right now. <laughs> Bro, is this an edit? Rule number one: Never put your mouth. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck? What am I watching right now, dude? You never, never like so. Oh Jesus Christ! This is a YouTube poop. This is definitely a YouTube poop. This is definitely a meme channel. Aw oh, man. How to make water? How to make fried water? I'm definitely getting somewhere weird. Small water company. How to start a what? Bottled water business? Oh yeah, let's learn how to start a bottled water business. A bottled water business. That's a bit of a tongue twister. Welcome to Sean Academy. <laughs> oh, it couldn't even be bothered to voice this. They had the TTS do it. In this video, we're going to learn how to start a bottled water business. My name is James and I will be your business. No, it's not. You're a TTS voice. In 2017, the bottled water... And <laughs> Bro, who typed these subtitles in the year 2017? In the United States was worth approximately $17 billion. Really? The United States alone, what the hell is that? That is not water, man. That's like... Oil. With Nestle, Pepsi, and Coca-Cola having. Okay, so so far Nestle is listed as an example here. Don't be like Nestle, guys. As a newcomer, the only way to outperform your competitors is to think creatively and devise novel ways to attract and engage customers. Okay, think creatively. Got it. Uh, wish I thought of that before. Bro, it's really teaching us how to outcompete Nestle. We might actually need this. Everyone, pay attention. We could take down Nestle with this video. It's also critical to meet all legal obligations and have a legal obligations. How can you possibly break the law by making water and not be like Nestle? To conduct market research to identify opportunities and possible threats. Market possible threats. Also... What could be a threat to your bottled water business? The the water being bad. He is expected to reach 319.8 billion dollars by 2020. A... Bro, the subtitles are terrible. Its expansion is fueled among other things, by growing consumer demand for healthier products. This idiot is pouring water from a bottle into a glass. Bottled water now comes in more flavors and varieties than- Flavors. What flavors does water come in, aside from the default water flavor? What? This guy doesn't know what water is. Never before. Premium quality bottled still water, sparkling water, vitamin water, flavored water, and everything in between are available to consumers. Mountain Valley Spring Company, Dunnan. Natural Waters of Viti, and other key industry players are disrupting this market by developing innovative products using cutting-edge technology. Cutting-edge technology to make water. Like what? What cutting-edge? Dude, just put, you put it in a bottle. Bottled water is being preferred over soda, energy drinks, and other beverages by consumers. Water. I highly doubt that. Ain't nobody drinking water anymore. It's all about that soda. <clears throat> oh, water. <clears throat> Yeah, uh, yeah, water is not good. The demand for bottled water is heavily influenced by external factors such as the local economy. 
As a result, it tends to fall when consumer in Who drinks water like that? They just go bottle the water. A more convenient option is to collaborate with private label bottled water suppliers and delegate the heavy lifting to them. I'm sorry, why would you want to enter this business when your main competitors are Nestle and Coca-Cola? I'm just paying attention to this footage here. Ranging from small convenience stores to national I'm just now realizing how messed up this is. Water is like something we need to live and people are selling it. Like just just drink the water. You don't need to buy it. Retailers. Customers can choose between spring and reverse osmosis water in 10 ounce. 16 reverse osmosis? What the hell is that? 9 ounce, 20 ounce, and 33.8 ounce bottles. The company works with major water brands such as Glacier Clear, Water Joe, and Nicola Natural, and each bottle can be customized with your brand and logo. Cool. Similar services are offered by bottled events, private spring water, and bottle your brand. The FDA regulates bottled water as a food product. While it is a food product, water, flavored water, and tonic water can be sold. These products are classified as soft drinks, except for antimicrobial agents and fluoride. Fluoride? You're put. What are you putting in these waters, man? This video is making me lose hope in humanity. Bottled, purified water or tap water is treated using distillation, reverse osmosis. Oh, what the fuck is reverse osmosis? Bottling plants are subject to FDA inspection and are. FDA? What? what why did the FDA need? It's water. Like, what are they putting in the water that needs FDA inspection that doesn't just straight up kill people? I sound dumb, don't I? I'm tired. I guess they put a little dirt in the water, but like, why? Why would you do that? That's just dumb. You government regulations really matter. I mean, you got companies like Nestle out there that are just doing their thing. And like, the government doesn't seem to care all that much. For all I know, I could sell water with my own shit and then the government would be like, eh, it's not as bad as what Nestle's doing. Ideally, look for businesses that sell water in BPA-free bottles. Bisphenol A, or BPA, is a chemical that is commonly used in plastic containers and can leach into food and beverages. Affect so then why put it, your water in it if it does that? Affecting blood pressure, endocrine function, fetal growth, and other factors. So drinking water is bad. Oh, it might have a bit of plastic inside of me. If you found this video useful, Yes, I found this very, very useful. I'm never at all going to start a bottled water company, but in case, just in case I'm in a pinch and need to start one, I know how to. Even though I was not paying attention to half of what the TTS voice said. Alright, well this has been the most boring video you've ever watched. If you managed to make it this far, then congratulations, you have the attention span of a goldfish. Which I'm pretty sure is supposed to be a good thing if I'm not mistaken. Anyways, yeah, if you somehow managed to find any enjoyment in that video, leave a like and subscribe, leave a comment. Actually, no, don't do that, because you probably would have already if you enjoyed the video. And have an awesome day. And remember, you've just wasted this much time of your life.